July 8th. National Video Game Day. Dust off that old Nintendo and haul your prized collection of games out of the closet. National Video Game Day happens on July 8th. Primarily used for recreational purposes, video games have exploded in popularity over the last few decades. They're exciting, invigorating, and most importantly, not just for kids. The very first video game ever invented involved simple table tennis. Today, there are over 5 million games in existence. From high-speed racing adventures to perilous virtual dueling matches, there's a genre for everyone to enjoy. Just follow the top video game journalists if you want to learn more about video games. From Pac-Man to Call of Duty, from Atari to PlayStation, the digital realm of video games is celebrated on July 8th. History of National Video Game Day Gaming is a serious business. Even though it has been one of the biggest hobbies sustained since its creation, many gamers have made a livelihood from playing video games. The world's number one YouTuber, PewDiePie, is a testimony to this. Gaming has definitely come a long way, from its humble beginnings of old-school arcade games to entire universes created with elaborate digital storylines. There are video games out there with better stories than actual live-action movies. Batman Arkham series is considered the best superhero game of all time, and the story has received more appreciation than some of the recent Batman Hollywood productions. The earliest video games were developed in universities in the 1950s. Experimental games included virtual renditions of paper games like tic-tac-toe. Dr. Edward Uller Condon unveiled what is considered the first example of a gaming machine in 1940 at the New York World's Fair. The game showcased was based on the mathematical game NIM, and was played by more than 50,000 people during its time on display. The computer algorithm won more than 90% of all games played. The first breakthrough for gaming occurred three decades later in 1967, when the father of gaming, Ralph Baer, developed the The Brown Box, the first ever game system intended for commercial use. This inspired Atari to create the now classic game, Pong. A copyright infringement lawsuit followed this, but Atari came out the other side with the release of their Atari 2600. This led to the era of iconic games like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man. When the gaming scene crashed in 1983, Japan-based Nintendo had their breakthrough. They released some of the most popular gaming franchises like Super Mario Bros. and The Legend of Zelda and smashed records with them. The competition also grew as Sega hit the market, driving towards 3D gaming. The modern era of games in the early 21st century kicked off with the Sony PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. Ever since, video games have stormed all digital platforms, with video game apps ranging across all stores. This also led to the birth of the online gaming community. The rising popularity of smartphones since 2007 has also evolved the way games are developed, with some of the most popular game titles belonging strictly to the mobile platform. What's next in gaming is virtual reality. Big companies like Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are all aiming for breakthroughs in VR gaming. Thank you for watching.